Hi guys, I'm here today with a video that I'm super excited about and I didn't have to wait long which makes me even happier because I was really really amped when I saw this and I am so excited to share it with you guys. That is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collaboration palette called Tiny Marvels and I was so pumped because I feel like Mel is one of the nicest, I talk about her like I know her, Mel, <laughs> I don't know her, but she seems like she'd be like a rad chick who I would get along with really, really well. I feel like she'd get along with everybody though. She's got one of those personalities that she's just really likable and she's so upbeat and you can't help but just be drawn in by her videos because she is not just very talented at what she does, but she's got like that kind of warmth from her heart that you can just see in all of her videos. So that's my opinion there. But I literally was so excited about this because I love Sydney Grace and I love Mel and I knew if she created something with them it would be something unique and fun and that's what I got with this. Now I know a lot of people weren't crazy about the packaging on this but for if you guys watch Mel this makes complete sense. She loves insects and her tattoo artist that has done many of her tattoos which are badass by the way. Uh, did this actual palette cover which I think is super cool. It is just like it makes the most sense ever so I really love that she was true to herself and I know a lot of people can't appreciate that but that means you need to go watch her channel more because then you'll totally get it. That's just my thought uh, which I will have her channel linked below because she's awesome and you should already be subscribed to her. In any case so that is the front. The inside looks like this. Now, this is me being honest for a hot second. When I first saw this, I was kind of like, no, but why? And then I took a little bit more time and I broke this down into different color stories. The way you, when you look at it head on, you may not necessarily go, oh, I can come up with this or that right on the spot. But for me, once I broke it down into like quads or trios or five pan stories in my mind, I really saw the potential of this palette. And now that I have it in my hands and I've made these two looks, which are very, very different, I have to say I like it even more. Now here's my thoughts. A lot of people were saying that this looks like a neutral palette with just a few pops of color. And for me, I wanted to do two looks that I felt were fairly colorful just to show you guys that you you don't have to stay within the box. I mean, you can use some of the neutral shades, but use them to blow out the pops of color and you'll get a very colorful look because to me, these are both very colorful. <laughs> but you have the versatility to use the neutral colors and get those everyday wearable looks that we all want to have sometimes. Okay, maybe not all of us and that's all right. Some of y'all can go, you know, to the wall every day and I respect you and I am here for you. But if that's not your thing, you know, there's a little bit of everything for everybody and not just that, but I feel like these shades are very much Mel. I Just from like her videos that I've watched, well, okay, no, she can wear any shade and it's gonna look good on her. She can literally pull off anything. She like, can wear a wig, she can have a bald head, she can have a buzz cut, she pulls it off. Like if I had, number one, if I had the shape of her head, I would cut this hair all on off, but I don't. My head is not as nice as hers. I wish it was, but that's a really, really strange comment to make. But she does have a nice shaped head. Maybe I'm alone, but I don't think so. In any case, I seriously think she can wear anything, but these are colors that I could definitely attribute to her in my mind. Like when I think of her and I think of a palette, this is definitely ones that I could see her using. So I was really stoked about that. The other thing I'd like to talk about is that I love Sydney Grace. Anybody that's watched my channel at all knows how I feel about Sydney Grace. I love them. I love indie brands. I like to support indie brands. So for me, this was just like a no-brainer. I had to pick this up. It was $52, but you get 15 shades. If you do the math on that, that makes these very affordable. At least if you are looking in the indie range for the most part. A lot of indie brands are, you know, seven or eight or more dollars a piece per shadow. So this is definitely the way to go if you can and if this is your jam. And I seriously think that if you did this a little bit differently in your mind, if you're not liking the way it looks at first glance, you will change your opinion on it. And it is definitely worth picking up, putting into your collection for everyday use, which I, I need to do a declutter video very, very badly, like very badly. But in any case, so that is this. Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys because I've had many, many people ask me to do a Sydney Grace haul video. Since I want to do swatches on a separate video altogether, I'll just show you guys what I got real quick. It's, it's a lot, but I'm also going to blow through it very quickly. What is this? What is this? I don't know. I got two of these palettes, which I now wish I would have gotten more because I'm running out of space, but I'll start with the first one. In the first one, I've got like my greens and my yellows and my 
kind of rust tones that I got from this sale. So I need to combine all of my stuff and then make them cohesive. But right now, this is where I've got it. This is all of their products right here. We've got a uh, highlight and the blushes. I've talked about those in another video. You can check that out. The other palette has... <laughs> I have a problem. The other palette has all of their single shades, the other rest of them that I've got from this sale. <laughs> Did happen to get, I think, nine of these. This is their lip creams. So I got a lot of these and I'm just going to take a moment to be honest and this is like I really never want to offend anybody but I don't like them. <laughs> it's not that they're bad but I have a lot of lip products that I like a lot better than these. I think they wear off kind of funny like this is already wearing off right now. I've got the color Bailey on over a lip liner. I put on a lip liner because I didn't want my lips to look really chalky when it wears off because it kind of does look chalky when it wears off. The texture is really nice. It is really sticky. So I would just say keep that in mind. If you like a stickier formula that doesn't necessarily stay on as long, this might be for you guys. It's just not for me. And I feel really bad because I really wanted to like them, but here we are. Um, in any case, if you guys still want to see swatches of these, let me know. I will happily do that for you guys. Then, then I also got the Summer Days palette, which I'll put a picture of up here. And I also got the Chase Your Dreams palette, which I will also put a picture up of here. And I don't know where I've put them at this point. I know they're here, but my room is actually very scary right now. So let's not judge. Let's all be friends. I'm just a hoarder and a clutter maker. So in any case, I'm going to swatch the Tiny Marvels palette for you guys right now and show you guys what they look like. I'm all like, yes, yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I'm on one. And I really hope that these swatches are helpful to you guys. I've seen some pretty good swatches from some people. Like, Mel swatches are always boss. So, you know, some people were like, yeah, but did she swatch it really hard to get that quality of swatch? I mean, from my experience, what is, what is up with this? I'm like, I'm evil planning the world right now. Um, but I feel like Sydney Gray shadows just are that good. Now, she's an excellent swatcher to begin with, but I, I think when you see my swatches, you'll go, okay, that's pretty true to color what her pictures were. So, in any case, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go top to bottom, left to right, starting with the shade Web. Now, I'm like normal, not trying to pick up a lot. I know that I could make this a lot deeper if I, like... If I went harder on my pans, but I don't like to do that. I can still give you a very nice swatch and not dig into these. So that is just a really nice white kind of shimmery shade that is perfect for highlighting the eyebrow area or the inner eye. Or put it wherever you want. The shade is called Tree Hopper. And this is about as smooth as you can find in a shadow. Like, I'm, it, it's so soft. It's beautiful. Not where it's like, oh, it's crumbling apart. But it is so soft. This is kind of a peachy tan color, and it is great. This shade is called Fire Butts, and I'm going to be real honest with you guys. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that this shade alone probably could have sold me on the palette. It is like the perfect greeny gold metallic gorgeous formulation, and I'm in love with it. It does very much remind me of the Makeup Geek Illuminati, but it is I almost have to say different still in the way it comes off. The next shade is called Walkin' Stick, and it is a perfect green toned tan color. Called Scared. It is also Red Chameleon in their permanent line. So if you have that, you're probably familiar with this, and you will love it because it is a stunning color. It has a red to blue to teal kind of shift. I would say the base is the red, the maroonish reddish color. And then you get a strong blue to teal kind of shift to it. In fact, like, look at my finger. Hopefully you can see it. The next shade is called Flutterby. And it is a beautiful pink. Well, it kind of reminds me, ironically, of a slightly oranger Pepto-Bismol. But on my eye, I'm for it. I don't want to have to drink it. Actually, I can't drink it, I don't think, at this point. But on the eye, it is everything I'm looking for. This color is BB. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is a yellow gold shade. It is so shiny and beautiful. Like, I just love it. <laughs> shade is Mantis. And it is a pastel light green shade. 
next shade is Meadowhawk, and I'm in love with this shade. It is like a rose gold, beautiful color. I am creepy into it. Like, look at the shine on that. That is so beautiful. The next shade is Love Bug. It is a light purple shade. Maybe a slight tint of gray toward, to it. The next shade is Jewel B. And it is very pigmented. Cindy Grace has done a great job with this palette. It is Marble. And it is just the most beautiful. It's a gold color with almost a slight orangey pinkish to it. Next shade is Death Moth. Which is more of just a neutral tan color. Shade is Bugaboo. Quick maroon kind of reddish purpley shade. Last shade is Spider. And I pulled that terribly, you guys. That's kind of a purple toned brown to it too, but mostly purple in my in my opinion. Although it looks kind of like it's black, but it's not. That is what the entire palette looks like. Okay, you guys. So those were the swatches. I really hope those were helpful to you guys. If you want to see how I got both of these eye looks, just keep watching and I will see you in a second.
These are my final looks. So I've got to say, I found so much versatility with this palette. And it, I, the reason I did these types of looks is because I heard a lot of people saying that the, this was just a really neutral palette with a few pops of color. And I just wanted to show that you can get a truly colorful look a couple different ways. You could very easily do more, in my opinion, and still have those neutral looks if you want to go there. I think that there is a lot of room to play with this and get different looks and if you're going for something different one day you have that versatility. I personally really really like this color story which is funny because as I said in the beginning I wasn't crazy about it upon first sight just because of the way it's arranged but then when I kind of broke it down into quads or five color like ideas in my mind I really ended up liking it a lot better. So, so once I was able to do that, I found this palette to be really inspiring. In fact, like the second I saw it, I pictured this, I pointed, I pointed to both eyes, I pictured this eye look, <laughs> I pictured this eye look. I really like the idea of mixing greens and pinks together for some reason, or even like peachy, because it's kind of pinky peachy-ish more than just straight out whatever. Um, but I, I really dug the idea of it. I think obviously my application could be better. Sorry, I had to touch up on my eyes. I feel much better about it now. I think you can get a lot of variation in the looks that you can create with this palette, which to me is like the bread and butter of makeup in my mind. Like if I can get one palette and get many, many looks out of it, not just neutral looks, which I do appreciate and I like to have the option to do if I'm looking at a palette, but I also like to be able to get outside of my box a little bit as well. And so to me, this really inspired me to try a lot of different things that I wouldn't normally do. And you can't ask for much more out of a palette. Well, you can, you can ask for performance, which for me, I know Sydney Grace's formula. I have never been let down by them. This is another case where I'm not let down by them. And you know, I really like Mel Thompson. So for me, this was a win, win, win. I got to support a brand I really enjoy. I got to support a person that I have watched for many creepy amounts of hours on YouTube. That sounds really off-putting, but really, I mean, she's just got like that kind of personality that when you're watching her, you feel like you're 
you know, sitting there with a friend talking about makeup and not just makeup, but life too. She shared herself with us and I really appreciate that because I can't imagine, especially at the level that she's at on YouTube, how hard it would be to want to open up to people. So I give her a lot of props. I think she seems like a really good person. I enjoy her videos. I hope she never stops making videos because I will always watch them. <laughs> like forever, I will watch them. I, I just am really happy about this collaboration and I am so happy to support her. I hope all of you guys go out and get the pre-order that is still available because it is so worth it. And I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a thumbs up, put a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!